Sodium is one of the best Minecraft mods out there as it allows you to increase the performance of Minecraft and anything that's going to reduce lag in Minecraft is an amazing mod to me. It actually does so more efficiently than things like Optifine, so without any more delay, let's just jump right on into it. The first thing you want to do to get Sodium is go to the second link in the description down below and that's going to take you here. This is the in-depth text guide that we have on how to get Sodium in Minecraft. This thing goes over everything that you can follow at your own pace that you need to do to get Sodium. With that being said though, what about this video? Well, if you're just going to follow along with the video, click on the yellow download sodium button. That takes you here, which is the official sodium download page, which congrats to them for passing 15 million downloads. Nevertheless, once you're on this page, you want to come to the right hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 section. Here you'll see sodium, right like so, and we can click the orange download button to start the download after a few seconds. While that's downloading, how about a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz slash apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually have a stay back so much with us, all of our servers on Apex Minecraft hosting. And if you want to do things like add mods to your servers or plugins, you can do so with just one click as Apex has over 100 mod packs with one click installation. Check them out again at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz slash apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, Sodium is now downloaded. You may need to keep Sodium in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. We also need to download Fabric. Fabric's the mod loader that is actually used to run Sodium in Minecraft. You can, of course, find this linked in the description down below. And when you go down in the description, it will take you to the text tutorial for Fabric. Just like Sodium, this is in-depth and goes over everything you know, need to know about getting Fabric. But once you're here, click on the yellow Download Fabric button. That takes to Fabric's official website where we want to click on the Download Universal Jar link. The reason we want to do that instead of download for Windows is because if you download via Universal Jar, it'll allow other Minecraft mods and servers and things like that to work correctly once you open up and install Fabric using the jar files. Let's go ahead and click on the Download Universal Jar there. And in the bottom left, Fabric will start downloading. Again, you may need to keep or save that depending on your browser. Then we go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to go ahead and move to our desktop, Fabric and Sodium. I'm also going to change my desktop background a little bit because I feel like this one's uh, hard to see even though it is absolutely beautiful. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and move these. To do that, you want to click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads. Now, you may have a Downloads folder here. If you do, go ahead and click on that. Otherwise, click on File Explorer and then come under this PC on the left-hand side. Click on the Downloads link here and in here you will find Fabric and Sodium. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with Fabric here. Go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java or your icons don't look like mine here, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods and servers in 1.19.3, and this is a complete guide on how to get it for Minecraft. It goes over everything. Once you've got Java, you may need to run the jar fix, and what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But nevertheless, once you've gotten Java and run the jar fix, you should be able to right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. The Fabric installer will then open up, and we want to make sure the 1.19.3 version is selected. And we also want to make sure that this uh, checkbox here next to Create Profile is checked. Should look like so. Then go ahead and click Install, and instantly Fabric's going to install. The only reason it won't is if one, you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open. If that's the case, close out of both of those. Or three, if you haven't ever played Minecraft 1.19.3, go do that. Just open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, we can click OK here and close out of the Fabric installer. We can also delete the Fabric installer from our computer. Then we want to install Sodium. To do this, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. And in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a Fabric installation, right? So you should have an installation that says Fabric. For us, that's automatically selected, as you can see. But if it's not for you, you should be able to click this arrow and see it. However, don't play just yet, because no matter what, we need to click Installations up here at the top. Now, in this, you should definitely have Fabric. If you don't, make sure Modded is checked up here on the top right. You can see we uncheck Modded, it disappears. We check Modded, there it is. Now, for whatever reason, you still don't have Fabric 1.19.3 here. Click on New Installation. We can name this whatever we want. I'm going to name it Sodium 1.19.3 because this is the Sodium mod. We ne then need to click this drop down box and click Release Fabric Loader. 1.19.3. Now for us, this is right here at the top. You may need to scroll down. I've actually, for whatever reason, seen it both at the very bottom and somewhere in the middle. Uh, it's crazy. I don't know why it does that, but occasionally it will. So you want to make sure that release fabric loader 1.19.3 is selected no matter what. I'm also going to change the resolution. You don't have to do that though. Then click create and now you will have your fabric installation here. 
But how do you install Sodium? Well, actually, we don't need to close out of the Minecraft launcher in order to do that. To install Sodium, all we need to do is hover over the fabric installation, whether it's the one that you created or the one that's there by default. Just hover over it and click the folder that appears. The Minecraft folder here will open, and then in the Minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, neither do I. So if you don't have a mods folder, just right click, create a new folder, and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Mods, right like so. Open up the mods folder, and now all you need to do is drag and drop sodium from your desktop into your mods folder. Boom, sodium is now installed. Close out of this and come back to the Minecraft launcher, where what we need to do is make sure that we play Minecraft with fabric. So that's either going to be this one that's here by default, or the one that you created, it doesn't matter. Click play, and then make sure you click play again, just confirming you're playing mod in Minecraft. Sodium's installed. It really is this quick and this easy to get it up and running. Now Minecraft's going to launch, and then once we're in-game, we'll be able to check out Sodium's features. One weird thing about Fabric is there's no Mods tab to see that the Sodium mod's installed, but luckily, as soon as we click on the video settings, we will clearly see that Sodium is up and running in Minecraft 1.19.3. So I'll go ahead, stop talking, and meet you on the main menu. Where, once we're on the Minecraft main menu, we'll be able to see that, one, Fabric is installed on the bottom left, indicating that our mods are at least should be working, but if we go into options, video settings, fabric, and sodium are definitely working because as you can see, here are all the sodium video settings. You can go into quality, performance, advanced, all of that stuff. We actually have a video coming up on how to set up Minecraft for the least lag possible. How to reduce lag in Minecraft 1.19.3. We'll be going over all of these sodium settings and how to set them up for the best performance. Not only like this, but with iris shaders, which by the way, if you want to get shaders with sodium, you use Iris, Iris Shaders to be specific, which you can find a link to in the description down below, as well as at the video on your screen right now. It goes over exactly how to download, install, and set up Iris Shaders to work in Minecraft 1.19.3 using Sodium, right, which is what we have here, and Fabric plus Iris Shaders. We show you how to install Shaders Packs. It is all covered super in-depth in that video, so check that out. It's on your screen right now, and if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft videos every single day of the week. We post a ton of amazing Minecraft content here and we try our best to do the technical side of things with servers with mods with stuff like that not how to build stuff those tutorials are great i'm just not good at building i'm good at technical stuff so that's what we do here but nevertheless check out that iris video it's on your screen right now if you want shaders and uh yeah thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one peace